Your credit score is one of the most important benchmarks of your overall financial health. And for banks and lenders, it speaks a lot about who you are as a payee. When they see that you have a good credit score, benefits come to you in the way of better rates for your loan. Since your credit score is so important in the world of finance, I'm sure you're wondering how to improve your credit score. Don't worry, I have a few tips for you. I'm Munif Ali, I'm a self-made multimillionaire who started a YouTube channel for the sole purpose of sharing my life experiences to teach you how to become more successful in life and in business. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button now. The first tip I'll give you is reviewing your credit report. You can ask for a copy of your credit report from all three major national credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Then study each report to see what's helping and damaging your score. You should review your credit history all the time to make sure everything is current and correct. What helps you get a higher credit score are on-time payments more than anything else. Low balances on credit cards and a combination of different credit cards and loan accounts. Older credit accounts and minimum increase for new credit accounts. As far as negatives, late and missed payment, high credit card balances, collections, judgments, bankruptcies, foreclosures, short sales. It's really important that you start to pay your bills on time. Your payment history is one of the most critical factors in determining your credit score and having a history of on-time payments makes you appear to be more reliable, helping you attain excellent credit score. To do this, you'll need to ensure that you don't miss a loan or a credit card payment, or any kind of payment for that matter, by more than 29 days. As payments that are at least 30 days late can be reported to your credit issuer and affect your credit score. The best way to never miss a payment is to set up automatic payments for the minimum amount due at the very least. It can also help you avoid paying late fees. If you're having problems affording a bill or paying on time, reach out to your credit card directly and immediately try to discuss your options. Monitoring your credit is an easy way to see your credit score performance. It helps you see the changes in your credit report, such as paid off balances, new accounts that you recently opened or somebody else opened for you. Many credit monitoring services are available online, such as Identity Force or Credit Sesame or Complete ID. Credit monitoring services can also help you prevent identity theft and fraud. For instance, if you get an alert that a new credit card account has been opened and you don't remember opening one that's been reported on your credit file, you can immediately contact your credit card issuer and report suspected fraud. If you don't catch it, you might not know and it's gonna affect your credit later. Even if you're not behind on your credit card bill, having a higher balance on your accounts can result in a higher credit utilization rate and affect your overall credit score. Revolving accounts comprised of credit cards and other lines of credit, keeping a low balance on them will help you actually improve your score. Also, those with the highest credit scores tend to keep their credit utilization ratio low in the single digit. If you want the best rate for the mortgage on your future house. Before I tell you the last one, if you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video was valuable to you. I'll give you more content every single week and let me know how this video personally helped you. To improve credit scores, it's necessary to open accounts to build your credit file, but you don't want to overdo it. It's so crucial to limit how often you submit credit applications. Each new application leads to what's called a hard inquiry, which may harm your scores a little, but increase can add up and affect your overall credit. Opening a new account will also lower your average age of accounts, damaging your score. Questions and the average age of your accounts are minor scoring factors, but you still want to be mindful of how many applications you submit. One exception is when you rate shop for certain loans, such as a car loan or a mortgage loan. Improving your credit score is an excellent goal to have, especially if you're planning to apply for loans You've got goals, you wanna you know, buy a house, buy a car, any one of those things. It can end up costing you if your credit is not good. All of this can come back and get you later if your credit isn't good. It might take several months to see an apparent impact on your credit score. So if you start to take some of the advice that I mentioned above, it'll be sooner than you think, so don't procrastinate on that. But the sooner you start working towards improving your score, the sooner you will see significant results. What will it take to have that immediate impact right now is for you to go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and I'll keep you updated with more videos such as this. Just like this video, I'm giving you three strategies on how to become a millionaire in your 20s. 